Okay, we're going to open one of the Nano Racers. This is the Mustang GT500. Got this at Walmart. Now, here we are at Walmart. That's me. I'm Wayne. In case you don't recognize me with my mask on there. I'm trying to be safe. We're in the toy section at Walmart. We're looking for the little RC cars, the Adventure Force Nano Racers. Let's see what we can find here. A lot of other ones back there, too. There's some of the cars. There's the Nano Racers right there. There's a little blue Mustang. That's what we're going to get today. Mustang GT, all right. Well, we're back from Walmart. Picked up one of their Adventure Force radio control cars here. This is called Nano Racer. It's the blue Mustang. City lights up. That'll be interesting. We'll get it out of the box and show you how it works. All right, let's open this little thing up. Get it running here. See what we can do. Like this comes open out right here. This just slides out like so. There's your instruction manual. See what he says about charging time and all. There's your manual. Plug it in with the switch off on the car, and it completed. Charging is complete in approximately eight to ten minutes. The light will turn off. Okay. Let's open this little guy up. See what we can do here. Alright, there's your controller, there's your car, I think we've got to put some batteries in it, it takes double A's, there we go, put your double A in right here, put the back back on, put the back back on, alright, I like that, alright, let's see if there's any charge in the car, there's an on off switch right here, flip that on, A little bit on it. All right. All right. There's a way to set it here on the bottom. Little thing, little controller. You can, if it's going one way or the other, see how it goes to the left. We're going to push it back to the right some. One click. See how that does. No. Nope. A little bit too far. See how it does now. A little bit too far to the right. That's pretty straight. Let's see what we can do here with it. All right. Now, now. Whoop. All right. We'll get that out here in a few minutes. We're gonna charge it. I'm sure it's down right now so we'll get it charged and get it going show you how it goes so the worst thing you want to do is open the little the charging cable on top turn the switch off on the car and it plugs into your your car right above the on off switch like so all right see how your lights on there it's telling you it's charging it takes eight to ten minutes when that light goes off it's ready to run. So we'll let it charge and we'll get a, get it running here in just a minute. Okay, we're through charging now. Just unplug the car. There you go. And let's see what we can do now. Turn your switch on right there. We can do a little bit more adjustment. All 
All right, let's see what we can do now. Okay. First thing we got to do is turn the switch on on the car right there. Okay. See how it off on. Okay. We're ready to go now. Sit it down here in the floor. See what we can do. This thing's pretty fast, isn't it? You notice when it goes forward, the headlights are on. Uh oh. It backs up, the taillights are on. See how it lights up? Look at the donuts that thing will cut for you. Wow. Pretty fast, isn't it? Oop, under the refrigerator. I think we ran into a wall, didn't we? There we come. Headlights, tail lights. This is a nice little car. You can charge this while you're on the go because you're just charging off the batteries in the transmitter. It takes about eight to ten minutes to charge it. I'm not sure how long it'll run. We've been running here for about five minutes though. I like those donuts though. Look at that. <laughs> I like that. I think that's it for this time. There's your car and everything. And hope you enjoyed it. They're nice little cars. And we'll see you next time.